you ready? Very good. So in the video before, I mentioned that I was going to do some cooking, some vegan cooking with my mum. So here we are with my mum. Say hello. Hello. So what we're going to make today is... So we call it mug, which is what an Indian term. But what would it be? It's mung beans, isn't it? Mung beans. So it's mung beans and you kind of have it with rice. So we'll just go through the ingredients that you need and it's a really simple thing. You don't need any specialist stuff. I'll put a list of all the ingredients in the description below. So it's one pint of water for one cup of lentils. Once you've got the lentils and the water in the pan, just bring it to the boil until they've cooked. Between 25 and 35 minutes, but keep an eye on it. Make sure you keep stirring the lentils that they don't stick. If you've got a non-stick pan again, you'll be able to have no problems, but if you do not have a non-stick pan, just, just give it a little stir and just make sure there's enough water in there, so just top it up as of when you need to. And you can move on to the next step, which is... Making the sauce. You heat the pan, add about a tablespoon of oil, add chopped garlic. Just chop it for big bits, okay. just let it brown a little bit. This is half a tin of tomatoes, I'm just going to add less than half. Okay, so I've added a less than half, so a quarter of a tin of tomatoes. Garlic and cloves. You peel the garlic, peel the ginger, cut the ends off the chilies, and you can chop it off. So, if you want to start doing more Indian cooking or any kind of cooking, and you haven't already got one, you should probably worth investing in a small chopper. Chopper. They can cost anything as little as nine ninety nine. Right. Or, and you can pick them up from Amazon and stuff, couldn't you? Or you can from any of the local Asian shops. You can get a little portable, which cost three or four quid, and it basically. Chops so you up. just put your garlic, you put your, your garlic. ginger and your chilies in there yeah. and then just turn the wheel. Turn the then. wheel and it all comes out in there. I'll post some links below to one of those. You can pick one of them from Amazon. And also like the small grinder that I use and my mum uses just so you've got uh, an option there to get one of them. You can finally dice it. Okay. Um, yes, you can finally dice it and use that. So here's one you prepared earlier. Yeah. So I'm going to use half a teaspoon for that. If you want it spicier, you can use more. And you're going to always add a bit more oil if you want to. So the trick with this dish is you don't want too much tomato, do you? You don't want too much tomato. You don't want to eat. No. Because I'm making one cup, I've just used a quarter of a tin of tomatoes. Okay. You can add more if you like. It's a, it's a dish that you can just add more or use less. If right. Experiment. And I suppose if you do make too much tomato, you can just leave it out when you mix it yeah. into the other one, can't you? Great. In the packets it will say dam and Right. There's ground coriander, so add that. A pinch of turmeric, half a teaspoon of chilli powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And that's it. And just mix it together. And like I said, I've used less oil than I would normally use, but you can add a bit more if you stick and just keep stirring it. That's what it should look like. Nice and brown rather than your tomato paste, which looks like that. So switch that off because that's ready. Cooker, it cuts down your time completely. Yeah, so my mum loves pressure cookers. Um, so yeah, if, if you're boiling the lentils in, say, half an hour in a pan, in a pressure cooker, how long would it take, do you reckon? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So, you know, if you're really important and you've got no time to waste, get yourself a pressure cooker. Having fun? Yeah. I normally cook without measuring. Thing, isn't yeah, it? which I think is the way most people like to cook. Yeah, and it's it's good to experiment though because yeah. like you know you've used, I've used that was half a tin so that's a quarter of a tin of tomatoes and you know that it, it doesn't look a lot but that'd be quite a flavour some yeah for one cup of tomato and then you can taste it and you think oh and you can't really go wrong can you you can't go wrong if you feel that it's not enough tomatoes you can always chop a fresh tomato and just put it in and let it cook. <laughs> Stir, and you can see they're nice and cooked. 
can now add the sauce into this and continue cooking or you can add it into this pan but for ease i'm going to put it in there and just mix that at the moment it's quite thick so i'm just going to add a bit of water in there so basically at this point you either add some water in if there's not enough and if there is too much water you just let it simmer and it does no harm. In fact, it really makes it better, doesn't it? The lentils cook really nicely with the spices. You get a lovely mixture. Okay. So it doesn't taste like the lentils are separate to the sauce. I've just chopped the coriander and I've soaked it in water to clean it. So I always like to wash, wash the coriander, fresh coriander. A couple of sprinkles, like a tablespoon worth. Okay, so there we are, that's uh, one dish done, the first of these kind of little videos. If you did enjoy the video or you found it helpful, please do leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, give it a go. If you do try it and make it and successfully cook it and taste it, do uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and just let me know what you thought about it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.